What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of the last two Series 13 Pokemon that I have not showcased on the channel. This time, we're rocking with Celebi. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. It really goes a long way. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my subscribers. But like I said, we are using Celebi today, and it is one of the last two Series 13 Pokemon that I have to showcase. I have to showcase Celebi, and I have to showcase the root. I believe that is the last two, right? If, I, if I'm missing somebody, if I haven't showcased somebody yet, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. But this Celebi right here is more of a support Celebi, and it really sets up well with this Alolan Persian. But let's get started here in the top left corner with today's team preview. Starting off with Shadow Rider Calyrex. This Pokemon is still super OP in Series 13. It has the As One ability, alongside with the Focus Dash as its item. It's rocking Expanding Force, Protect, Astro Barrage, and Energy Ball for its moveset. Second Pokemon is going to be Kyogre. Kyogre, just like Shadow Rider Kyalurx, is super OP in Series 13. It's got Drizzle alongside with the Mystic Water, and then Moveset is fairly normal with Water Spout, Protect, Origin Pulse, and Thunder. Middle left is going to be our support Pokemon. It is going to be Indeedee over here with the Psychic Surge, alongside with that Colbert Berry. It's rocking Expanding Force, Follow Me, Protect, and Helping Hand to make Ally Pokemon do a bunch more damage. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Zacian, the strongest Pokemon in all of Pokemon. This thing is absolutely amazing, super, super broken, and hits like an absolute truck. Interpret Sword, alongside with Rusted Sword as its item and ability, then its moveset is straight up and fairly normal. It is Iron Head, Play Rough, Protect, and Sacred Sword. Bottom left hand corner is where we get to the off meta squad. We got a low in Persian with the rattle ability and the weakness policy as its item. So he's going to be able to pair up with uh, Selby really well because Selby can use U turn, pivot into Persian, proc weakness policy, trigger rattle, which is his ability. And what it does is actually it will give him a speed boost, a plus one speed boost when it's hit by bug moves. And then he can kind of just roll off from there. It has Thunderbolt for coverage, Burning Jealousy for coverage, Dark Pulse for stab, and Protect for its final move. Final Pokemon is the star of the show. We got ourselves Celebi over here with a Natural Cure and the Choice Scarf as its item. It's got Energy Ball, it's got Skill Swap, and it's got U-Turn and Perish Song for a crazy cool move set. Guys, if you want to run the scene for yourself, the monthly code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's get some wins with the Series 13 Celebi team. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a pretty powerful squad. Look who he's rocking with. He's got the Zasty and the Kyogre's Zever Aura. Palkia, Grimstarl, and Yveltal. I don't care who he has, I'm bringing in my Celebi, I'm bringing in my Persian. I want to get rocking out with him, and I definitely want to showcase him, but I want to check their stats before we even get started here. What is your speed version? 183, and then plus with the rattle, you can get some work done. I really do like that. I really do like that. Moveset's pretty solid with the Thunderbolt, Dark Pulse, all that good stuff. And Celebi can pretty much outspeed everybody with that Choice Scarf. I really do like that. I really do like that. And then we do have the Natural Cure, too, so if I want to swap a skill with somebody, especially if somebody has like a better skill, like, uh, I'm trying to think of a Pokemon. Maybe, like, Zacian? No, that wouldn't really do anything. Or, like, maybe take off the Dark Aurora for, uh, Yvelta. We could go for a skill swap. But I'm gonna go Persian. I'm gonna go Celebi for a lead. I am going to bring... Who do I bring in the back end? Zacian's really good. Definitely gonna bring in Zacian. And then, last but not least, do I roll out with... He could lead Zero Aura. He could definitely lead Zero Aura. There's an option. That is an option. But I'm gonna go there, and then... Calyrex or Kyogre? Cali Cali or Kyogre. I feel like Kyogre will get a little bit more value out of. You know, I like Calyrex. But Calyrex just has a problem with that uh, Yveltal. I think I'm just going to go Kyogre here. Especially because Kyogre can kind of counter up on Zacian a little bit. Eat up a shot and then kind of go from there. So I'm digging it. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves our first win with the Celebi team. But before the battle even starts, you guys got to let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What are your thoughts on the Splatoon content on the channel? Are you guys enjoying it? Are you guys liking it? Are you guys disliking it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys want to catch more content from me, more Splatoon content and more Pokemon Sword and Shield content, make sure you guys go follow my Twitch. Name is right below my face cam and link is down in the description below. Jeans25 over on Twitch, but he ends up leading the Zebra Aura alongside with the Yveltal. So, I mean, he could have Blooming Wing, he could max Airstream into me. Um, but he could also fake me out, and I definitely want to try to get off this U-turn here. So I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for a U-turn, and I'm going to Dynamax. And do I just go for Max Darkness? Because Max Darkness could drop that Special Defense. I could lower this dude's Special Defense, kind of go from there. I am kind of with that. But do we think he's going to Airstream? He might. He might airstream, but you know, I'm just gonna bring the Zero Aura down to, down to Focus Ash and then probably drop a lane in the next turn. 
I think he Dynamaxes your Veltal, right? Maybe, maybe he doesn't because Persian's rather fast. It's actually a really fast Pokemon. It should outspeed that Yveltal, no problem. It should outspeed it, no problem. And then once we get this plus one, but again, hopefully we get the plus one. We just gotta hope he's not faking this out. But he could fake out my Persian here. Not thinking I'm gonna die. But we'll see. Let's see what he wants to do. He's gonna end up going for a fake out, and yes, he does go into the Persian. So that's a solid turn for us. So he's gonna end up, end up faking us out. I'm gonna U turn into the Persian. I could have. I could've, dude, I could've just Dynamax. Or I could've, what's it called? I could've just Max Lightning into the, what's it called? That you Veltal and take him out. But I thought he was gonna Dynamax. He's probably Oblivion Wingy. He's probably Oblivion Wingy. And that's fine if he does do that. Because I can just go in the Sassian. And then we to play rough next turn. So I don't mind that turn. I really don't. I really don't. So we have a lot of speed. We have Weakness Policy proc. We have Selby in the back end. Which is rather fast. And hopefully we can save it for like a good instant. We're gonna end up going into that darkness. We're gonna get some work done on you. And is Sash? It is Sash. So Sash is gonna poke out here. We should have speed up against this guy. I like her speed. He's gonna hang on with Focus Sash. And what is he going for? If I had to guess an Oblivion Wing into this ass, he's like, right? Makes the most sense. Yep, there's the Oblivion Wing. Great swap from us. We get in there's Ashton. Ashton's gonna be able to soak that really well. And at this point, I can just drop a player off into that slot. And take that thing out and then on top of that i could go into what can i do you gotta hope that the player off lands i could just go into the flare would flare be better like who does he have in the back end it'd be fine to set up a flare in case he has palkia i mean i i would think he has kyogre but maybe he'll have palkia maybe he will have palkia you know i'm gonna go in his zero order slot with this you could swap the belt into the pal into the like a kyogre so you could change up weather that way so that's not a bad turn so we have speed all day on this person. He's not going to Dynamax at Evolve, so I highly doubt that with the player off coming up here. And I really like the position. I really do. So let's see what he does. He's going to withdraw Evolve. Go into Kyogre, please. Go into Kyogre. He goes into Zacian. I'm, I'm with Zacian. I'm fine with that. We hard swaps in that. We do not have our Calyrex. I think he's saving his Dynamax for that Evolve. I really do think he's doing that. So player's going to fly through here. I think I could just flare that Zacian and take him out next turn. Unless I want to go into a Behemoth Blade and just say we outspeed, but I would have to check this Ascian stats. This is a solid little battle. He is set. He has speed all day. He's probably going to show his final Pokemon, which might be Kyogre. Could definitely be Kyogre, but Playoff's going to fire. It's going to connect, and it's going to do a decent amount of damage. Chipping up a little bit. Definitely enough for a Behemoth Blade to take that thing out. Definitely enough for that. So I got to check my Ascian speed. Because if my Ascian can outspeed that, I would love it. I would just send a Behemoth Blade that way, and then just hit him on this slide over here. And he does end up going into Palkia, so that flare actually works really, really well for us. I do like that. I do like that. So from here, I could drop a play rough into the Palkia slot. That would be my best bet. That would be my best bet is to drop a play rough into this slot because I know we have speed. And just flare across here and finish you off. Wait, that makes the most sense. I like this turn. Because again, Persian should be faster than Zassian. It's like 183 and it's plus one on speed. I kind of dig that. I kind of do that. So he might even protect his ass too. So we can get off some damage that way. And a player off can do a crazy amount of damage on the Palkia. And then I still have the Kai Ogre. And I still have the Celebi in the back end, which is awesome. Which is amazing. Which is amazing. But who's his final Pokemon? Who did you just swap? It was Yveltal. Yveltal's kind of scary, man. This is definitely scary. This is definitely scary. He's going to end up Dynamax and Palkia. I like him Dynamax and Palkia more so than the Yveltal. But this is such a good battle. What a great little battle going on here. And my dog's barking. You guys can probably hear that. You know, the doorbell rang, so the dog's going to get barking. Kind of annoying that it has to do it when I'm recording, but I'll deal with it later. <laughs> I'll deal with it later. No, it's all good. Hopefully, it's not too loud on the microphone. And maybe you guys might not even hear it because I put my compression pretty high on it. But he's going to end up protecting his Ascian. And I wonder what he's going to go for here. I really do because this flare should be able to do a decent amount of damage here. Right? Flare coming in hot. Bang. Did some nice damage. And a player rough. If this lands, it could do some nice damage. Yeah, player rough does land. It gets off some crazy damage. That's some big time damage, which we love. Wormwind's gonna fly here. He's gonna go into my Persian. That should take out my Persian, right? Yeah, Persian gets stumped on all day, but still, that's a solid turn from us. That's not a bad turn from us. I really don't mind that turn. Attack's gonna drop from Zassian, but still, Zassian has enough horsepower to take out the Palkia, to take out the Zassian, take out a lot of different Pokemon. But from here, I feel like I just have to go into Kyogre, right? It should be Kyogre time. We set the ring. We save the Celebi for the back end, or I can outspeed with the Celebi. And hope that an energy ball can take out that Zassian, but I don't think it can. I really don't think it can. 
I think we just save this Pokemon. I think we just save this guy. I could start a Parasong. I could start a Parasong if I wanted to. Start wasting out turns. Force him to swap. That could be my play, but then I would have to swap after that. But you know what? I'm just going to go into Kyogre here. Wait, is Kyogre my play? I mean, Kyogre outspeeds the Palkia. Which is good. Yeah, Kyogre outspeeds the Palkia. Dashing can't take me out in one shot. I really like where we're sitting here. That is solid. That is solid. So I could drop a Water Spout. I could drop a Thunder. I have a lot of different options here. A lot of different options. So let me see what's called speed real quick. Let me see Zassian's speed real quick. Because I feel like Palkia's got to protect you, right? Zassian's 220. Oh my god. He, he can probably outspeed most. This thing is just fully boosted. Um, I think we just Behemoth Blade and finish off Zassian. And we just Thunder into the Palkia slot. I think that's my play all day. I think that should be able to do enough damage to finish this off. He's going to end up guarding. Kind of saw that coming, but I think my Zassian can outspeed him. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we have speed on the board. We're thriving pretty well in the Celebi and Persian combo. Get started off real strong. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, yo. What a way to start off today's video. As long as we don't miss these play roughs, we should be chilling. We should be chilling. And I think at this point, we just uh, Behemoth Blade into Palkia to finish it off. But it should be able to do enough damage, even though we are... Minus one. Oh no, we're even on the attack board. We're even. He did warm one into, into us. But he could sucker punch. He could do a lot. And I feel like I just drop a thunder into that slot. Right into the Evelta slot. And then we just finish off Palkia with a Behemoth Blade. Because that's 100% accuracy. It should be able to do enough damage there. And then Thunder can do a nice chunk of damage over onto the Evelta. Let's see what he does, yo. Great start for us in the Master Tier. In the Master Tier. Our opponent was like top 1000. So it was good to win with Celebi, you know? A little bit of off meta squad. This guy's rocking full meta. We, we 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 sprinkled a little off meta in there. Celebi and Persian got them got that rolling. But the thing is, like people don't expect that. They have no idea what's going on. When you see a Celebi and a Persian, you're like, dude, what is going on here? What is going on? And those are definitely the funnest teams to use. They really are. But he is thinking. He's definitely thinking. He definitely should have died. Actually, belt though. He's gonna end up going for a sucker punch. That's easy eats for us. He did a lot of more damage than I thought it would. But still, we're chilling here. Behemoth Blade's gonna fly here. I'll say Palkia. See you later. Get on out of my lobby. Get him on out of here. And then Thunder should be able to come in here and not pick up the KO, but still do a huge chunk of damage. 100% accuracy. I want to chip it up. I want it to chip it up. I think it should be bringing down the red. Right? Or or high or low yellow, right? Should do a nice. Unless this thing's uh, vested, which it could be. Brings it down to red. Brings it down to red. And we get a crit. We get a crit. That's beautiful. Beautiful. I do think this thing. Oh no, it's not vested. It's buried. It's a buried Yveltal? That's weird. Citrus buried Yveltal. How often do you see that? You never see that, but that's GG. So I'm just gonna drop a player. Actually, let's drop a Behemoth Blade. Behemoth Blade can do enough damage, and Thunder can do enough damage. That is game, set, and match. There it is. That first battle couldn't have went more perfectly for us. We set up the Celebi and the Persian combo, and then we swap out and get the big dogs to clean up the battle. But we're hopping into our second, looking to go back to back, going up against a really cool and powerful team. He's got Talonflame and Reggie Drago for two off meta Pokemon. Then he's rocking Zero Aura, Kyogre, Yveltal, and Zacian. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to bring in my Zacian. I feel like I have to bring in my uh my Kyogre as well. I don't think Shadow Rider Calyx is going to see anything again because you know Yveltal's a problem. But uh, should I go into Selby Persian again? I feel like we can have fun with this one. I feel like we could definitely have fun with this, but I don't know. Hmm. He could definitely set up Tailwind, and that's a problem. If he sets up a Tailwind. I mean, I don't have Trick Room or anything. I mean, I could set up maybe a Parasong, but I just feel like Persian and Selby is going to be pretty solid here. I don't know if we wasted Dynamax with that. It'd be tough. We have to save our Dynamax here. Maybe we just go in with the Big Dogs. Maybe we just go in DD and Kyogre. And DD Kyogre is really not too bad here for the follow me. He set up Tailwinds. We kind of follow me some shots. We kind of roll from there. And you know what? We are just going to bring the big dogs this round. The big dogs going to bark. And who do I have to get rid of you? And okay. Never mind. We ran out of time. <laughs> we ran out of time. So hopefully they pick a good team for us. Hopefully we get rocking. I do not know. I do not know what's going to happen here. I'm kind of scared now. I'm kind of scared. As long as Celebi and Persian are not in a lead unless they're led together I feel like we could be fine but I ran out of time and I hate it Sarah or and Kyogre coming in hot who we got rocking Kyogre okay Kyogre Cal I can deal with that I can deal with that because you know what I might just Dynamax my uh 
I might just Dynamax my Kyogre. I might, I just might Dynamax my Kyogre here. So do we really think he has some Moxie to go into a Plasma Fist? I feel like he's going to fake me out, right? And I'll Astro Brash here. And who do I have in the back end? Indeedy's ass. Okay, I'm all about that. I'm cool with that. Indeedy can come in here later and do some work. I feel like maybe we just Dynamax here. Which we'll pop a Thunder or Max Lightning straight into this. Thing. I'm cool with that. Because I feel like this guy doesn't have the Moxie to drop a Plasma Fist into me. I feel like he's going for the fake out. And we can kind of just uh, miss that shot and go off him. That'd be beautiful. That'd be a huge turn for us. Be a huge turn for us. If my Kyrie can outspeed, that could be some big time damage we can. That can be a double that can be potentially a double KO. Well, obviously the uh, server order is probably sash, but still. We'll see. He's not gonna Dynamax and he goes for the protect on the Uber. I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. Um and he's not going for the fake out. So he does he does have the Moxie to drop a plasma. He does have the Moxie. Dude's all about it. He's gonna drop a plasma fist into me. Okay, that's fine by me. That's going cool. wow, dude. That Zero Aura soaks really well. And he's gonna E Web slow me down. He's E Web. Yo, this Zero Aura? Why is this thing so bulky? Why are you so bulky? Max Lightning's gonna fire. It's gonna chip up some damage. And why is this thing so bulky, man? You would think two of them would be able to take out a Zero Aura. Two Astro Barrages. Is this thing vested? He's got to be vested, right? He's got to be vested. Does he have anybody he can swap into to dodge his electric move? No, and I doubt he's going to swap into anybody. He might just Dynamax their card here. Um, we just have to drop another Astro Bunch. I think I'm just going to stick with the lightning shot. That thing's so bulky, man. Why Why is he so bulky? <laughs> that is such a bulky Zero Aura. It's got to be vested, right? Soaked it up like it was nothing. Unless it's just fully invested into like special defense. And he Dynamaxes his Pokemon. Right, that's cool. I was going to Geyser into him. Now he has speed on me, which kind of hurts. But I can bring out Zassy and kind of just dump on that. Get rid of that. No problem. Let's see what he does. Max Lightning's fine through it. Can you soak this up, Ogre? I think you can. You can. Cool. That's a big time eat. He does have speed on us, though, doesn't he? Astro Bosch flies through here. His Kyrie can definitely outspeed. He's going to drop an Orange Pulse. Pick up the easy double kill. Her soul. Okay, I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot here. Considering we have Eden Didi and Zassium. Didi and Zassium is not too shabby here. Uh, follow me won't do anything, but Kyogre is kind of annoying. I could predict the max guard here. And just take out the Kyogre. That could be a big time play. Or I could just follow me and just take out the Zassium. Or take out the Kyogre. Which is probably the better play. Right? Because he would think... He could be like, okay, he's going after Zero Oral with a Behemoth Blade. So I'm just gonna max guard it, but I can just follow me the shot and kind of work. Indeed, he should be able to soak up at least one max lightning, right? What a tough first battle, or not first battle, tough second battle. We change up terrain too, which is huge. That's a big terrain change because he doesn't get that electric boost and damage. Kind of go. From there. So Behemoth Blade should be able to take out, should be able to take out Kyogre no problem. So I'm just gonna finish off him with a uh, Behemoth Blade, and I'm just gonna go from there. So we'll see. I'm, I'm thinking he's gonna guard, right? We follow me just in case. And he does not guard. Okay, that's fine. That's why we follow me. So follow me is going to come out here. We got to protect our Zassian, and we have to have our Zassian pop off this sweep. So Behemoth Blade coming in hot. Let's see if we can get something rolling there. Behemoth Blade is going to take you out. See you later, Kyogre. And we'll go after Zero War next turn. I mean, unless he guards again. Unless he guards again, you know? It really depends who he goes into. He goes into a darkness. Beautiful. We have that lovely little Cobra Berry. Berry is going to help us soak that up. And that shouldn't do much damage, right? Yeah, not at all. That's beautiful. We should be able to eat up another one of them. We're going to get that special defense drop still. I feel, like we're, I feel like we're thriving. I feel like he has a lot of special or physical attackers on the field. Berry helps us out. I could take out Zero Aura or I can follow me another shot. What do I do here? It really depends who he throws out. He's going to send out Yabelta. And I can definitely see a protect coming out from Yabelta, right? I can definitely see a protect coming out from Yabelta. I'll take care of Yabelta next time. I'm gonna follow me here and I'm gonna get rid of Zero Aura. I'm gonna get rid of Zero Aura. The Behemoth Blade. Again, Protect might come out from the belt on. Dude, not gonna lie, if we could sweep this with Zassian, that'd be incredible. If he ends up not protecting, it's totally fine. He's probably going into Oblivion Wing with that. It's so pretty well here. Behemoth Blade flies through here. 
Now she might be going for a darker move. We'll see. I probably should have taken out the Belt off. Should have been the play. But again, I thought maybe he was protecting. I can play it off next turn. But indeed, I need you to eat up one more shot. I need indeed to eat up one more shot. And we have a chance. But he definitely has Zassy in the back, which is kind of scary. Kind of sucks, but we'll see what he wants to do. He's going to go for Dark Pulse, and that's looking scary. Can you eat that? No. Yeah, we should have took out Ebelt, though. That should have been our play. Because he's going to throw out Zassy in here. He is going to throw out Zassy in. Maybe, just maybe, he can protect Zassy in. Yeah, it is Zassy. Maybe he'll protect Zassy. So I'm going to take out uh, Ebelt right here. Yeah, man, I totally should have taken out Ebelt there. And have Zara or Shot come in there because we could have been able to eat it up. That's what we should have done. Because if I had Indeedee for one more turn, that could have been huge. But I'm just going to play rough, take out Yveltal, and maybe Zassian can miss a move or something like that. My player off connects, so we can say bye bye to Yveltal. And yo, my Zassian's going off. It is going off. He doesn't protect his own. He's going for a blade, but I know he outspeed. Well, we should be able to outspeed. But the real question is can we take out his Zassian in one hit? Maybe get a crit, something along those lines. But he's going to go. We should be able to set this up right. We do. Can we KO his? We are we're adamant, too. We are adamant. We are adamant, fully invested attack, Zassian. So there's a shot here. There's definitely a shot here. There's definitely a shot, depending on his stats. So I'm a blade here. We're going to look for the greatest Zassian comeback sweep ever. Make it happen, Zassian. Make it happen. Nope, we bring him down the red. Oh, my God. Came down to the wire. Came down to the wire. Maybe we should have just doubled down his ass into it. But you both could have did some work. It could have did some work. But yo, this close to pulling off the greatest Zassian comeback ever. We bring his Zassian down to the red. Now we're sitting at one and one. We can hop to our third and final battle. And look to go two and one. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a little bit of a problem. We're going up against the 10th ranked player in the world right now. Number 10. Why am I getting paired up with these guys? I'm like 1,500. I don't know why I'm getting paired up with 10 in the world. So we're going to have a tough battle here for battle number three. How should we go into this one? How should we play? He has a great Trick Room team here, which he's probably going to try to pop, right? He's going to try to pop Trick Room. I could go Kai Ogre and Calyrex, which wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be too bad here, right? It is looking pretty good. Or I can go in with like Zacian. But he's going to lead a fake out Pokemon, right? So I should go Kai Ogre and Calyrex and just Dynamax the Calyrex, right? Does make a lot of sense. Or not or not Dynamax Calyrex, Dynamax and Kyogre. Kinda go from there, bring Zassian in the back end, and then do we just bring Indeedee or do we roll out with Celebi? I could roll out with Celebi and drop Parish Songs. Hmm. Skill swap, all that good stuff, blah blah blah. I don't know. It just seems like if he pops Trick we can kinda just roll out the battle. I feel like Indeedee might be we might get a bit more value. Moves do you have? Hmm. Mm, I don't really like that. Not really like that. I could go Persian Celebi. Uh, but, getting, but again, he can pop a fake out. I mean, I probably should have went into that. He's going to lead Incineroar. And if he would have done that, we would have bypassed his Intimidate with Special Attackers. And he, there would have been no doubt in my mind that he would have faked out the Persian, right? He would have faked out the Persian. We could have Dynamax kind of got after that battle. But I don't know. We'll see how this one plays out. We'll see how this one plays out. Because like I said, we're versing the 10th best dude in the world at the moment. 10th best player. Going to throw out dun -dun -dun, Palkia and Incineroar. So he's looking to pop the Trick Room. Um, I think we just Dynamax, right? I mean, he could Dynamax too. We could guys to finish that off, but I'd rather go after the Palkia, right? I would totally rather double down in Palkia. Which is good. Right? We have, to, we have to get after that Palkia. The question is, do we think Palkia is Dynamaxing? Could. Could Dynamax. He's going to Intimidate. Intimidate's going to do nothing. We have Focus Ash. I think he's going to go for the Fake Out, right? I feel like he has to go for the Fake Out. So I'm going to Dynamax here. And I could go for a Geyser, or I can just go for Lightning. Geyser is going to be not very effective. Palkia. Actually, resists it like crazy. So Lightning would be the better play. I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to pop this lovely, this lovely Ash Barrage. Lovely Ash Barrage. So he's going to end up withdrawing. Him and he's gonna end up going into who? We going into so I mean, he's just gonna go into ground. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. As long as he doesn't die to Max Palkia, right? As long as he doesn't die to Max Palkia. So he changes up the weather right off the rip. Dynamax into Palks. Dynamax into Kyogre. He could be Dynamax into Palks. That's something we don't want happening. Because if he does that, that's pretty much GG, right? I feel like he can roll strong with the Palkia. 
I don't know. Let's see how much damage. Let's see how much damage we can do. But I would love to have Weather Bat. I really would love to have Weather Bat. But I'm kind of hoping he's trying to pop a trick on me. No peace dying to max him. He's maxing. Great call. Great call by them. This is why they're number 10 in the world. They're going to play really good against us. So he changes up the weather. We go for a lightning. Uh, we go for an astrobage. And I wonder what items he's going to If I had to guess, you know, Palkia is probably a soul vested. Or not Palkia. Groudon's probably a soul vested. And Palkia is probably orbed. See how some plays. Astrobage is going to fire. And I don't know if that Groudon's actually a soul vested due to that damage right there. I'm going to end up going into this. I could drop a geyser next round. That might end up doing. Might end up dropping that. And hopefully he just goes into what's it called? My Calyrex. Hopefully he just go after my Calyrex. He's going to drop a Quake here. I think that goes into Calyrex, right? Sashes up my Calyrex. And that's a great Quake. That's a great Quake. He's going to grab a special defense boost. I think we just Geyser into... Oh. Do we think a Geyser can KO that... Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm going to Geyser into Groudon. I want to make sure that Groudon works. And I can have the weather on my side. I am just going to Geyser. And then on top of that, I am just going to... I'll take that. So we'll get rid of the Groudon unless he protects. Kind of go from there. We do have Zassian in the back end. Zassian could get dumped on by the Incineroar. But who else do we bring? Do we bring in Didi? Mm. He's okay. But still, the Psychic Surge can be really good to kind of bypass some fake out turns. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. But I'm really glad we got to show up case Selby in Battle Number 1. Did amazing. Did some work. Got set up all that. Because we were rolling out strong in Battle two and three with the with our top tier pokemon because like wh when you get to like this high rank you have to roll out with these pokemon you're going up against these pokemon and the only way to beat them is to use them you know so he's gonna hard swap ground and he going into you going into incineroar you can go into incineroar so incineroar's gonna take some damage here incineroar's gonna take a nice chunk but i feel like that's a great play by them it really is and the reason i say that's a great play is because now he has ground on in the back end and he can use that for uh, more weather control. So guys, just gonna fly from us. Come on, baby, take this thing out. Get rid of it. It does get rid. Of it. Cool, awesome, dope. So he's probably gonna go back into ground, and I'm cool if he goes back into ground. So I just picked up a K like that, and then I can just go after the ground again. And I kind of think that this ground is assault vested now because he swapped instead of protected, right? Roman's gonna fly. Go after Kyger, please. Then he takes out my Cadillac, and I'm fine with that. I am really fine with that. Really am fine with that because I can bring out Zassian here, right? I can bring out Zassian. I can play rough. And I think a geyser can still take out Kite or Groudon now, right? I feel like a geyser can still take out Groudon. Groudon doesn't have the special defense boost. I'm really like that. I'm going to bring out Zassian just so I can hit that Palkia. And he's going to roll into Groudon, right? You're going to roll into Groudon. What are you doing? This is a Cali. Okay, so... What do we do here? I mean, Geyser should be able to take out Calyrex, right? So I shouldn't be worried if he's going to pop a trick room. I'm going to play rough, and I'm going to Geyser into the Calyrex slot. Unless that thing's Sash. There's no way he's Sash, right? So I double down to Calyrex. That might be a, a better play here. No, we're not going to. I'm going to take out the Falcon here. Maybe I should have doubled. He might guard and go for a trick room, but still. He's going to withdraw. He's going to withdraw, so we're dropping a Geyser here. I'm fine with that. I really am fine with that. I really am fine with that. So he switches up weather. We still have a shot at taking out Groudon. That could be big time KO. He might guard here. I do not mind either. Playing really good right now. He does not guard. Playoff should be able to finish off that Palkia. Beautiful. Get it on out of here. I'm not too worried about that Calyrex. And yo, are we going to beat the 10th best player in the world right now? Rank number 10? Jean's coming in hot? Jean's coming in hot? Guys are flies here. If this picks up the KO, that's GG. That is GG. Make it happen? go that's gg that is gg your boy is beating the 10th player in the world right now let's go bring my rank up just swap my rank with them swap my rank with them because i'm like 1500 right now that's what should happen i beat the 10th guy i take his spot that's my spot now i'm the 10th best in the world right now <laughs> i'm the 10th best yeah only if i push more i don't really push too often like to high ranks i kind of just play the play bring you guys some fun content all that good stuff but I pushed back in the day like a while. This was probably like two years ago. when Shield kind of first came out. I what's it called? I did a. Uh, I got to like top 500. But again, I haven't pushed since. I wonder. I wonder what I can get. But I end up going into Blade Water Spout. He cancels battle, and we go two and one for today's video. 
amazing team that we showcased today. We got Persian and Celebi on it, who we showcased in battle number one, who were absolutely amazing. And then the second and third battle, we brought out the big dogs, with Calyrex, Kyogre, Sassian, and Indeedee to lose battle number two, but win battle number three up against the rank number 10 in the world. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.